Welcome back to our channel, Fast Cabling or the Tech Enthusiast. So we all know PoE can deliver power and transmit data at the same time, right? So today we are diving into the world of power over Ethernet to uncover the best splitter and injector combination that offer unparalleled flexibilities. And whether you're a seasoned network guru or just dipping your toes into the tech waters, PoE can simplify your setup like never before. And if you're facing trouble with your technological project, you can always visit our website through the link down in the description box below. And our solution page here provide a wide range of solutions tailored to your needs. So power over Ethernet sends both power and data to a single Ethernet cable and eliminating the need for a separate power supply. It simplifies network setup, reduces clutter, and provides power-hungry devices with the energy that they crave. Now let's talk about the PoE injectors and splitters. Think of PoE injector as a power source. It injects power and transmit data over an Ethernet cable. And the PoE splitter, on the other hand, do the opposite. It splits the power from the data and making it usable for non-PoE devices. And this combination offers the flexibility to power and connect devices both new and existing. And with a single Ethernet cable, no need for additional power cords. It saves you resources and money, also gaining the flexibility to power a wide range of devices, so it's a win-win for a modern networking. So when it comes to selecting the perfect PoE splitter and PoE injector combination, several crucial factors come into play. Power requirement. Ensure the PoE injector can supply enough power to meet the needs of the PoE splitter and the devices that it's powering. And in today's fast-paced world, data speed matters. Opt for PoE devices that support gigabit Ethernet to ensure high-speed data transfer without bottleneck. And compact and portable PoE devices are ideal for a flexible setup. Also consider your setup's complexity. A plug and play solution are straightforward and easy to deploy. So by carefully weighting these factors, ensure that your network and devices work seamlessly and efficiently. So now I'm going to showcase three different combos. Combo one for small scale setup, combo two for high power performance, and combo three for long distance power and data transmission. So let's talk about combo one, which is the compact stool. We're using this 10G 30 watts AO2.3 ATPOE injector. It can inject 30 watts of power and support 10G bandwidth to IP devices. And this is the Gigabit PoE splitter with 12 volt output. It works with the PoE injector and have up to 30 watts remaining power is available for DC 12 volt network devices and eliminates a nearby AC power outlet. And this combination is suitable for a small scale setup because they're designed to be mobile. You can simply move them around and making them the perfect companions for flexibility on the go. So move on to combo two, high power performance for demanding devices. When it's time to power up big players in your network, you need a high power PoE injector and splitters to match the task. So here we have the 95 watts BT PoE injector. It can supply up to 95 watts high power to PoE devices and support gigabit network. It is safe and reliable with power handshaking and overload protection. Action. So over this side, we have the industrial 95 watts PoE splitter. Now this is an industrial grade device that receives PoE++ and transmits a maximum of 72 watts power. And also gigabit ethernet to power hungry non-PoE devices. And they deliver the extra juice that needed to keep PDZ camera or other demanding gadgets running smoothly. So now we are at combo number three, the long distance power and data transmission. This is a powerful long range solution that combines the PoE injector 
PoE splitter and a PoE extender. It is like stretching the limits of your networking power and data to places that you never thought possible. This is the PoE extender. By installing this PoE booster, can easily manage your PoE transmission even at outdoor harsh environment because this is IP67 waterproof rated and it is compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF AT and BT standard provide up to 60 watts of power maximum. So now you can see our setting. We have the PoE injector, PoE extender, and the PoE splitter. And in between, we have 100 meters and another 100 meters. So total 200 meters Ethernet cable. We are connecting to an IP camera at the edge. So without saying, let's do the connection together. So this is the router to provide the main network data. First, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the router to the network video recorder. Because we are connecting to an IP camera, so it's used to display video footage on the monitor. Next, I'm going to use another short patch cord to provide the data to our 10 gigabit PoE injector. This is the data input port, and this is the PoE output port. I'm going to connect the output port with the 100 meters Ethernet cable. And next, coming over here, we have the PoE extender. I'm going to take out the neck and the gland for easy installation. This is the input port. Make sure you plug it into the right port. Input port with the PoE in and the output port connecting to another 100 meters Ethernet cable. So it's done. Coming over here, we have 200 meters in total. This is the PoE splitter. Over this side, we have the PoE input port. So let's plug it in here. We can see the indicated light is on. Now I'm going to power up our camera. And then using another ethernet cable here to provide data for the camera. So now it's getting both power and data through the PoE splitter. And as you can see, the video footage is already on the monitor. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So the whole connection is done now. So when choosing your PoE injector and splitter combination, you should yeah. consider the power requirement of your devices. Don't underpower your gadget and always keep the distance in mind. Ensure your PoE injector and splitter are compatible with all your devices. Now I'm going to give out some more tips on the installation. Make sure you invest in quality Ethernet cable because they're the lifeline of your PoE setup. Precision your equipment strategically Optimal placement minimize cable length and maximize performance. And like any other tech, PoE setup benefits from Mac regular checks. So make sure you inspect your cables and devices regularly. Now we know the PoE injector and splitter combination are your gateways to an ultra flexible network setup. And thank you very much for joining us today. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow tech enthusiasts. And for more tech content, you can follow us on media, social media, or you can subscribe to our channel, Fast Cabling.